Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So today, one of the videos that I've uh, had requests from for, for a while now is really an update on my Omas uh, pens. Now, I have done another video on the Omas Arco Celluloid, which also actually has Armando Simone Club pens in them because they are the original Omas Arcos. I've had a number of people ask me, what is the state of my Omas collection? So, the true Omas collection, as in pens that are made by Omas, these are the pens. And I just wanted to do a really a short video here on the pens and what I have. So, I don't have that many Omas pens in my collection here. I have six at the moment. Now, if I were to add the... Um, Arco celluloids to that then I would have seven more so what 13 uh, at that point I believe but I thought I would just do here the Omos pens so uh, from left to right here we have the Omos Milord Arco Brown we have an Omos Paragon Arco Brown we have an Omos Paragon in Scarlet Red, we have an Omas Paragon Blue Royale, and we have an Omas Ojiva Cocktail Blue Angel, and then we have an Omas 360 in the cotton grey finish. So I think let's have a look at these from left to right here now. So, so this is the Omas Milord, and I've shown this off on a number of other videos in the past. This has a medium nib, and it's a juicy wet writer. I absolutely adore this pen. Now, strangely enough, I normally have to have the same colour ink versus the same colour pen. Now, I decided to try something different with this pen to see if I could really sort of work with a different, completely different colour ink in a different, completely different colour pen colour. So I put in here the Franklin Christoph Spanish Blue and I absolutely adore it. It's a wet ink, this is a wet writing nib and it gushes and I absolutely adore it. I have no problem whatsoever ever remembering the ink that is in this pen. The only problem that I do have is trying to work out which one's the Paragon and, or which one's the Paragon and which one's the Milord. As you see I just got it wrong there. The Milord is a slightly larger one, it has a, uh, the silver trim on it, or radium trim. So so this has a uh, medium nib, and you'll see here that the nib is quite blue at the moment. It's a, a very mirror-like rhodium plated nib. I, get, I really do like this, it really gushes ink. Uh, and, and these are all piston uh, fillers. They really do write well, and I'm going to have problems getting this to line up. There you go. Getting these patterns to line up sometimes I require a little bit of um, fiddling. So, so that for me is the Omas Milord, and I absolutely love this. If if you said to me today, there's a fire, I have to grab only one Omas pen out of my collection which pen, which Omas pen, not talking about Arca Celluloid in general, talking about which Omas pen would I grab, it would be this Milord. Uh, hands down, for me, it's it's the perf almost the perfect pen. Now you have the Omas Paragon here. Now this is, again, an Arco Brown, slightly thinner, slightly um, shorter pen than the Milord. So the Milord comes in around about the size of a Visconti, Visconti Homo Sapiens and the Paragon comes in around the size of a Pelican M800. And again, this Arco Brown finish, uh, this is an Omos Extra uh, Paragon. This Arco Brown finish is absolutely lovely to die for, it really is. And this comes with a broad nib, whereas the Milord was a medium nib you see it there but this is again it's quite a wet writer not as wet as the Milord but it does write pretty well 
but I do prefer the Malord in how it writes. Uh, and again, this is a piston filler. Uh, pretty much most of the uh, Omas pens are piston. There were a few later ones that came with um, cartridge converter, I believe. Because I like the size of these, I decided to pick up more recently the Paragon in the Scarlet Red, which is here. And you can see here that this is, again, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous material. And I have uh, uh, done a review recently of this one as well. So um, you can see here just how that, that material shines. Now, this is a medium nib. So, again, similar to the, the Milord, but it's not as wet, not as juicy wet as the Milord. So, although I do like it, um, it is a nice nice pen, nice writer. It's not as good a writer as the Milord, I find. And you find this with any pen. You, you, if you picked up any pen and you, and you got to try them all, and if you picked up 10 pens, you would find a huge difference. And this happens on any manufacturer, how a pen writes. And then you have this one here. You have the, again, this is an Omos Paragon. And it's the Blue Royale. And again, uh, very similar to the Scarlet Red. You can see almost a little bit like a chipped ice or cracked ice effect going on there. And I do, do like that in the body. I have a review of this pen as well that uh, should be on my channel. Now, again, I do like this. It, it is a, a lovely pen. Again, about the right size, you can see here. It's about a Pelican M800 size, nib-wise. Now, this is a fine nib, and uh, it was a little bit toothy, but I've managed to actually um, uh, smooth that out a little bit. Uh, there was, seemed to be a little bit of a burr on one of the inside of the tines that I managed to actually smooth out. So actually this writes a lot better now than, than it did uh, when I received it. And then there's this, this, uh, this pen here, which is the Omas Ojiva Cocktail Blue Angel. Now, this is a, a lovely pen. And it has I've done a review of this as well. It's on my channel if you want to see the full review. But it's kind of like a, a uh, rib uh, effect that goes on through the body. Again, it's a piston filler. It's slightly transparent um, or translucent. So you can see through and I'll show you here it has a specialty nib on it and this is a 52 degree nib and the reason why I'll show you there if you can see the tip of the tines it's angled slightly differently and it's angled to 52 degrees and this writes not only as a fire hose but like a marker pen and you'll see this if you watch my video on this that I did on, on the review. It is a super wet pen. And again, I love that. Out of the two, like, it comes close between the Milord and the 52 degree nib on which one that I would run out of the house with if there was a fire. I'd have to say the Milord wins because of the Arco. But... The two, the two pens, right? Very wet, fire hose wet. And then there's this Omos 360 in the grey cotton resin. And this is a lovely, lovely pen as well. Again, piston filler, as most of the Omos pens are. And it is quite, it's a triangular sort of um, uh, design of the pen. It's a push cap. You do have to hold it a little bit differently because of the triangular grip. Uh, again, all of these have gold nibs on it. Now, this actually has a oblique medium nib, and you might be able to see it there, um, but I reviewed this pen as well, and you can see it more on my uh, review, but um, this has an oblique medium nib. So, And this is my only oblique nib that I have in my collection. And, again, I do like this pen. So, I decided... Initially, uh, when I, I I was offered all three, uh, actually, uh, all three of these pens here, the the, the two Paragons and the 360, I was going to take the 360. But then when I managed to try the, the two Paragons, I decided to pick those up as well. So that really is the size of my own Moss collection. It's not a big collection at all. Will it grow in the future? Possibly, yes. 
I prefer the Malorts out of all of the models. Then the Paragons, uh, the 52, the, well, the, o, the Ojiva Cocktail. I, I like the Ojiva. I have another Ojiva Arco from Ar- Armando Simone Club. And then the 360 is an interesting pen. I probably, if I wanted to add more, I'd probably get a Paragon Arco Verde. Maybe another Malord. If I, could, if I could get another one that had a medium or broad nib and it was an absolute gusher uh, of a pen then I would probably pick one up, but I would need to try writing with it first before I actually pick up another one. So that's really it for my Omas collection. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye. <laughs>